A couple of months ago, I was driving down to Maryville, right by the experimental farm, and there was a little speedometer-like sign that showed I was going a bit too fast and reminded me to slow down. And right above that sign said something like, this speedometer brought to you by local councillor Maria McRae. I found it a bit odd, but it turns out these signs are technically fine. The residents asked the councillor to do something about traffic in that area, and she paid for it out of her office budget. It turns out to be a very popular move. There are about 15 signs and other awards doing the same thing. But there's a bit of a catch. In the 60 days leading up to the city election in October, councillors are not allowed to use public funds to advertise themselves. So this week, election officials said, well, the signs can stay up, but somehow councillors running for re-election have to figure out how to cover up their names. There's a reason they call this silly season. But there is a bigger issue at play. If these signs are necessary, if they really do calm traffic, then why isn't the city paying for them out of our main transportation budget? That's what it's for. It seems like a much better idea than letting councillors play politics with traffic signs. For the Ottawa Citizen, I'm Joanne Chianello.